Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, another day, another experience. Today we are going to talk about whether the upcoming intakes, the May intake, September intake, or maybe January intake, um, whether the class would be online, offline, or hybrid. So let's start. So I can talk about Ontario um, because uh, I live in Toronto, Ontario, and uh, yesterday only. Doug Ford, the Premier Doug Ford announced a complete province-wide shutdown of non-essential services. Even the grocery stores like Walmart or Costco, those who were uh, selling non-essential stuffs like TVs, clothes, uh, you know, music systems or anything, they, they just closed that and so the government told them to only uh, sell the essential products that are food-related products, medical aids, etc. So, um, so if we see about upcoming event in May intake, I don't think so that the classes would be offline because of the province wide shutdown right now. This is shut down for 30 days, like for one month. And um, we hope that this shutdown opens up um, after 30 days. And uh, so if we, if we see the cases of number of cases are increasing uh, daily and uh, they are, the third wave has started and they are trying to, um, you know, um, flatten the curve and i don't know how much time will they take actually nobody knows how much time will it take so they are doing their best and if we talk about may intake the classes would be online only i think there are certain courses that require in-person classes they would give you hybrid classes like they would give you some classes online and they would call you in the um, facility like in their college to um, attend any laboratory classes so um that that is one of the cases and if we if we talk about um, September intake, if even if you ask any of the colleges, they won't be able to answer you. They won't be able to give you a fixed answer about September intake 2021 because um, there is no uh, surety that there would be no shutdown in September. The, the classes would be offline. Uh, there is there is a possibility that they might uh, start hybrid classes. Like if the the courses or the programs that have whole um, whole of the program as 100% online classes, they might shift them into fiber classes that they would give like five, 10 classes uh, in person and rest of the classes online. But that is one of the scenario. But if we see uh, as a situation right now, we don't see offline classes starting anytime soon. So that is one of the scenarios that needs to be considered while you are applying for uh, September in take 2021. And uh, we talk about January, 2022, uh, it is way too far to talk anything about that because nobody knows what's going to happen in the September intake. So we cannot judge or say anything about January 2022. We hope that this thing um, stops and, uh, you know, the spread of the COVID-19 stops and the uh, classes, offline classes should start. Even though Premier Doug Ford have um, announced the, the schools are open, but they these uh, open schools are taking a lot of precautions as uh, even if one child is tested positive, or even the teacher is tested positive, the whole school shuts down for 14 days. But um, that is one of the scenarios that they could be doing for the higher uh, education uh, um, institutions as well, like colleges. But I know everybody is looking forward to attend offline classes because as of uh, if you see, uh, we pay a lot of fee um, to um, th these colleges, these universities, so that we can go inside um, the classes enjoy the infrastructure enjoy the facilities that the college provides and you know sit inside in, with your classmates discuss problems with them discuss your life with them and these are all the um, things that matter and they actually help you grow in life uh, i know this is our new world now that everything is online you have to attend everything online but um, believe me everybody is trying to flatten the curve over here but yeah these are the uh, con points that you have to consider while applying for may intake september intake or january intake 2022 the these are options and people those who are coming in may 2021 please make sure you see the three-day hotel quarantine that is mandatory right now and you you uh, follow the rule of the quarantine for 14 days even if uh, everything goes well you uh, have to quarantine I know we are paying a huge amount of uh, fees right now, but there is no such confirmation from any of the colleges or any of the institutions that they would reduce the fee structure because of um, COVID-19. 
um, you know the classes being online they would reduce the fee structure because um, they but there are certain uh, if I'm not wrong there are certain colleges that are providing a refund to the students those who are work uh, starting in 2020 to 2021 um, because um, they were pro co-op programs they were uh, there were certain programs that 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 needed to be done using the college facilities they said um, since everything is closed so they are refund giving a refund for like um, even if this if there is a small amount like hundred dollars or five hundred dollars um, they are giving a refund for that so make sure you uh, check with your college in university or any other institution that they might be providing these kind of uh, refunds or so that um, you know you save some money why not if you can get your uh, refund for some amount um, and um, and that is it and um, I hope you this video would be helpful and um, please subscribe to my channel um, let me know in the comment section what kind of videos would you like to see and uh, how do you like my videos and stay tuned for more informative stuff and uh, fun stuff coming up thank you